And welcome back to the Win Las Vegas Sportsbook right here on the Strip. I'm Patrick Everson for Covers.com. Pleased as always to be joined by Johnny Avello, Executive Director of Racing Sports here at the Win. And Johnny, we got the NBA season underway. It tipped off last week, Monday morning here as we speak. Taking a look at a couple of uh, three games over the next couple of days that could be kind of interesting in what you see and how you're going to hang the lines. Let's start with Chicago at Cleveland on Tuesday. A couple of things that kind of stood out for me here. Obviously, first off, Cavs are now even more a favorite to win the East with the Celtics suffering the loss of Gordon Hayward in that season opener at Cleveland. Uh, off to a good start in the first couple of games. Got blown out at home by Orlando, but Chicago not a very good team. What do you make of Cleveland's new pieces, and what do you think the line will be on this game? Well, first of all, let's talk about the Cavs. We got James and Love, that's the team right now, and they're using Schumber right as he looks like the third best guy in the team as of now. Um, these two guys can carry the team, right? You know, and so it'll play a little bit more minutes. You're looking at a line this game, probably Cavs around 14 or so. Mm -hmm. uh, like you said, the Bulls aren't very good, and the Cavs have, you know. Once you watch this NBA, games are close, but when you look at the final score, seven minutes to go, and you say, exactly. hey, yeah, how'd they win by 20 when they're only up by six? So, exactly. Yeah, you, you know, you have to give the player something to look at at the other side. So double digits, probably around that 14 mark. All right, very good. Moving along, speaking of uh, the Boston and the Hayward injury, Knicks at Celtics also on Tuesday night. Obviously, the Knicks aren't any good either, but this is an interesting game. Just to touch on the adjustments that you as an odds maker have had to make on the Celtics, losing that key piece in Gordon Hayward in game one, and what you think the line will be on this game? Well, Kyrie Irvin now gets to be the man for the Celtics. He yes, always gets, I think that's why he's gone, because he couldn't be the man with the Cavs, but he is certainly yeah. going to be here. Mm -hmm. uh, Jalen Brown, the rookie, mm -hmm. uh, here's a guy he must present himself now. I think he's a good player. He's going to get a big taste of the NBA right now. Yes, and is. I love the coach. I really do. I think if there's yes. any adjustments to be made, this coach can make it. Uh, you're looking at Celtics probably somewhere around 8 to 10 point favorite. All right, very good. And then finally, let's wrap up with Toronto. Per, you know, definitely one of the better teams in the East over the last couple of years, but they're at Golden State on Wednesday, and Golden State is the superpower of the league. There's no getting around it. However, that said, the Warriors off to a little bit of a bumpy start. Steph Curry could be in a little bit of a tr trouble with the league. Yep. Uh, you know, how much of the way Warriors favor by in this spot, and where do you think the money comes in? Strange to see the Warrior with two losses in the first three games. Exactly. Just, just didn't expect that. Yeah, it almost I, looks like a typo. I, yeah, right. And I like the way that the, the Raptors are playing. Um, normally, this spread would probably be around 13, but it's probably going to be around 10, 9, 10, probably at the high end. Now, Steph Curry could be suspended, so that means a lot of rest for Steph. So that right. makes that means an adjustment on our end. So we'll see how to, if the suspension plays out. We'll make our adjustments accordingly. All right, very good. So there you have it, folks. A look at three NBA games on the early week docket here at the Win Las Vegas Sportsbook. Thanks again to Johnny for his insights, as always. For Covers.com, I'm Patrick Everson. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a follow on Twitter at Covers.